Okay, now we have another equation in which we're going to have to use the distributive property. And how do we get started? Well, first, I can just expand this and essentially distribute the 3. 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Okay, so what is the next step? Now I can actually combine the 2 and this minus 3. We're subtracting this 3, right? So 2 minus 3 is negative 1. I can put it either over here or right there. It actually doesn't matter. Well, as long as I just put it in one place. Otherwise, we would be wrong. And then at this point, I want to take the negative 1 here over to the right-hand side of the equation. And to do that, I will add 1 to both sides of the equation. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 8 plus 1 is 9. And then I can just bring down 3x and divide both sides by 3. That will be the next step. right? By dividing both sides by 3, we get rid of this 3 that is multiplying the x. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So x is equal to 3. That's it.